Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'll be showing you how to do basic routing. Now we are going to go ahead and build our circuit on packet tracer. Start by adding our router. I'm going to use the 2911. We need two of them. And then we are going to add two switches. We're going to go with the 26 or rather the 2960. Two of them. Um, then we will add the end device, which is a PC. We're going to need, oh, we're going to use three PCs per network. So we're going to have three PCs in this network, and we're going to add another three PCs for this other network. We are going to have four, or rather three networks. Um, we're going to have the dot three dot zero network the dot one network and the dot two network but before that we need to first connect everything up so that it can be clear as to where our network or where our networks sit so we're going to start by cabling our devices so i'm going to go with the first ethernet zero for the PC and then the Ethernet, the first Ethernet zero slash one to zero slash three for the on the on the switch. The gigabit port. So I'll use the first one. So I'll connect it to the first. So I'll do the same thing on the other network. Now between the routers, I will use the a crossover cable the crossover cable connects similar devices or the same type of device so if i was connecting a switch to a switch i would use a crossover cable or a pc to a pc so in this case we have a router to router so i will use a crossover cable now now that we have our network connected we can define our our networks our different networks so the third network the dot three network will be the network between the routers right and then the first network will be the network on the left and then the second network will be the network on the right i've already created the, the ip addresses of each pc Right, so now we're going to do the first step, assigning IP addresses to the PC. one We're going to leave the subnet mask as it is. Our network is a slash 24, which means we have a possible of 100, 254 hosts on that network. And then our sub our default gateway is gonna be one dot one, which is this default gateway over here. So I'm gonna do the same for the other two PCs. So I can go ahead and try and ping between and the two PCs in the same network just to make sure that I have a as you can see I can get the ping going. I can get the ping going and I also get a reply. They're all four are received, so everything is working fine. And now I need to create the default gateway, which is that gateway. So we're going to put it on the router. So now we're going to enable, we're going to enable config or configure terminal 
config t short for configure terminal then we are going to go to the interface we need to configure interface giga gigabit port zero slash zero and then we give it an ip address of 192.168.1.1 then we give it a subnet mask of slash 24 and that will be it so now we just need to put up that port or the interface by saying no sh no shutdown basically we are telling it to come up as you can see it's starting to regain connection um, so we are going to go ahead and do the same thing for the second network we are going to add in our IP addresses so it's 192.168.2.5 and 192.168.1 sorry 2.1 which is the default gateway over here We can also do the same here, just to see if we can ping. And indeed it can ping. So we are correct. So now we're going to add the default gateway, which will be the port over here. Maybe to make things a little bit clear, we can just switch on or activate the port levels as you can see giganet zero it's going to be our this default gateway so we can come here and no enable configure terminal interface giga port gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero, and then we give it an IP address of one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one two five five two five five two five five is the subnet mask dot zero, and we need to no shut, which just means no shutdown. Can, and then you can see it's attempting to regain connection. So now we are done with the you can also you can also sort of test by pinging the the default gateway to see if you can get to the gateway which is 23 sorry 2.1 um let's use the simulation mode and then let me enter and play the simulation as you can see we can reach the default gateway and back so that works so clear in real time so yeah now we just need to connect the two networks as you see at the moment we cannot ping we cannot ping one and two one six eight dot one dot five see it's unreachable so we cannot ping it so we need to create a connection between the two networks so we do that by gonna start here we have to enable this interface so we're gonna we're gonna exit the the config interface which is g0 slash 0 so now we need to go to interface gigabit port slash 2 which is 0 slash 2 is that one now we need to give it an ip address and 
the web address is going to be okay i'm going to put this you know i'm going to put this there so this is going to be our ip address we're going to go back to this so we're going to give it an ip address of 192 slash 168 slash 3 slash 2 and we're going to give it a 255.255.255.254 so this is going to be slash 32 no slash 30 which means we only have about four possible ip addresses in that that network which saves us more ip addresses so now we're also gonna no shut it which just means we are bringing the interface up it won't go up yet because the other side it's still down on this router so it won't light up green it will still remain red but it's the, the state has changed up on the on this router so that's that's fine and uh what else okay so now we are going to do the same on the other router we're going to configure the interface by typing interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 and giving it an ip address of 192.168.3.1 And remember that this admin must must match the previous one so they are in the same network. Otherwise they're not gonna be in the same network if they don't match. You press enter. So um it's this one over here. And now I'm gonna you no know, shut it and it should go up since both ends of that cable are now up. As you can see it turns green, so it is definitely up um so now we can go back and test the pinging so first of all i'll attempt to ping this endpoint over here so we're gonna ping 192.168.1.3.2 and we're gonna use the simulator to actually see And then we're going to press enter and play as you can see i can i can get i can ping it and back let's ping 192.168.3.1 yes it does ping but it as you can see i can ping i mean the the, the message that travel all the way it does travel all the way to the to the to the to the interface i'm trying to ping however it does not come back and the reason for that is because this router over here knows nothing about this network over here the router only knows about the networks that it's connected to so it knows about the there's the 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 one dot zero network and the three dot zero network but it knows nothing about the network over here and the same thing will happen with this router it will know about this network and this network it will not know about that network so that's why a ping to this network does not come back or the ping to this router does not come back because this router knows nothing about this network so we are we are going to create something called a static ip address or a static route rather let me change this Let's call it static route that's what we're going to do so now i am going to remove the the the, the port levels just for clarity everything feels congested so now i'm going to configure ip routes so that each router knows about all the networks all the networks that are within our architecture first of all let's look at our ip routes so we do that by simply clicking um okay we're gonna exit and they do show ip routes or route and then it shows us all the routes or all the all the known connected networks right so it knows about the 
192.168.1.0 network it also knows about the three network this one and this one but it knows nothing about this one it's not there so we have to introduce it by simply saying ip route 192.168.1.3 sorry 2.0 dot zero and then we give it the I put the net mask and then we also give it the interface so how does this router get to this network it gets to this network through this interface which is g0 slash 2 then you press enter and there you go now if I go back and type in I do show IP route, you will see that now we have a static route added to our routing table and it goes out through gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2. So now if I ping, the ping should be able to come back. Let's go back and test it out. Let's go back and test that ping. Let's use the simulation mode now we're gonna have to enter the ping and then play the simulation there we go it's successful it's successful right it is as you can see in it, the first one timed out but as time goes on it started it regained connection so it takes a while sometimes to resolve that connection but eventually it, it resolved it and everything went smoothly however this wouldn't be able to communicate because we have not yet configured that router so i have to come here and configure this router as well and add this network so how do i do it okay let's first look at the do you show uh, IP route or IP route okay I'm mixing and then now you can see we have um, we have nothing that says anything to do with the network one so we have to add that network so how I do it let me let me exit here and I say IP route you have to be in the global config mode and this was the interface config mode so that's why I exited. So now we have to um, we have to configure the route the, or the route. It's IP route, um, and then you give the the IP address of the route, or I mean the network address of that route, um, or the network address to that route. So, okay. Now that's it's a dot one network. It's a two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero, and you give it the interface with which it should access that route, which is this interface over there. So you press enter, and now if you go back to view the 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 IP the the routing table, you can see we have a static route, which means we added it statically. It's a static route that points to the network one. Red network two is automatically connected because the moment you connect and you give the default gateway, it will know about that route or it will know about that network. Same thing with the network three because it's connected to it, it will know about it. So two and three, it knows about because they're connected directly to it. But one is not connected directly to, to the router. So we have to introduce it statically. And that's the, the 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 whole idea of this exercise is to is to is to create static routes. Now we are going to attempt to ping one piece this PC. We're gonna to attempt to have this PC ping this PC. So we're gonna ping one one nine two one six eight one dot six. Right, let's see if it'll work. Mm, timing out. It might take a while to resolve, or maybe we did something wrong, but we'll see. It's timing out. 
it's timing out and it eventually it made a connection as you can see it made a connection we can also view it um, in simulation mode press enter and press play and as you can see it will go all the way around and back And there you go, it's going back. And there is the reply. So we have successfully completed the exercise.